Welcome back at Lessons du Métier. Well, we are at the last stage of the carcass, which means the back. As I mentioned earlier in the first video, all my tool oaks or cleat are going to be screwed to the back. So with time, my layout may change, and with that, some screw hole are going to appear at the back of the case. If there's too much screw hole, well, I need a new back. So that's why I, that's why I choose shiplap. It's actually a board with rabbit on the opposite side, and they fit into each other. So if this one gets too much screw hole, I can only just change this one and keep that one. So that's gonna save me a lot of time in the long run. It's gonna control wood movement much better. It's gonna open up or close depending if it's dry or humid, but you're never gonna see any gap because it's gonna be closed at the very back. And since it's gonna be screwed at the back, it's gonna be perfect for wood movement. So what I had to do to make this shiplap? At first, I mentioned all my stock. Then I did two rabbit, one on each side and on opposite corner of the of the board. And the side of the board, which face inside, got a really nice beading with a scratch stock. So it's going to give really nice detail when you look at the back of the case. Another thing I did for the back is the back rail. This is what I'm going to use to screw the cabinet to the wall. So it really needs to be really stout. So I have a couple of holes for screw uh, for a lag bolt. And since I don't want to see them, I made a really nice cherry cover to cover them. So that's about it for the carcass. I still have some finishing to do. But for right now, I'm just going to leave it like that after putting the back. And the next step is going to be the drawer and the door. So a lot of dovetail and mortise and tenon to come. So I hope you'll enjoy and see you next time.